Hey guys, Crispy here. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of Star Trek, Matt Cosmetics and I teamed up to bring you guys tutorials inspired by the women of Star Trek. Today's tutorial is inspired by the character Vina. She's described as vicious, seductive, and she's also a belly dancer. So if you guys wanna see how to get this look, just stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm going to be using these two chroma cakes in chartreuse and landscape green. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use some Fix Plus just gonna get it damp like that and then go ahead and swirl it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the neck for right now. Later on, I'll do my shoulders and um, arms and everything. Next thing I'm gonna use Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in Deep Dark Brunette and define the brows. So now I'm going to take a 242 brush, which is a little flat brush, and I'm taking the chartreuse chroma cake, and I'm gonna use this to kind of lift this area up where I brought the brow too low. Right now I'm gonna move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take Shadowy Lady, and I'm gonna put this in the crease using a 286 brush. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Sculpt contouring powder and I'm just gonna dust this really lightly up top where my eyeshadow is gonna end, so to speak, just so that it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going back in with the Shadowy Lady. Shadowy Lady was like my jam, like one of my first eyeshadows that I ever bought when I was working at MAC back in the day. I remember it was like a new thing for me that I had tried matte eyeshadows. I was like, this is some next level stuff. On the lid, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow called Bird of Prey. And I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna get, a, get it a little bit damp using Fix Plus. So I'm gonna pack it on the lid. This is a 242 brush. Next, I'm gonna take Carbon Eyeshadow, and I'm gonna deepen the crease even more. This brush is a little bit smaller, so it's gonna allow me to just darken this bottom part of the crease. And I'm gonna take it all the way over here also. I'm using a really, really light touch. So next, I mixed a little bit of the landscape landscape green and some white paint. And I'm gonna go in and highlight my under eyes using the white and green paint and a smaller brush. I'm gonna go in and highlight my nose. I'm gonna fill in the waterline using Smolder. Doing the top waterline, whenever I watch other people do this, it like looks like it probably really hurts, but it actually doesn't. Now see how I just have the liner in my waterline right here, and my lash line is still, you can still see flesh peeking through. I'm gonna take the pencil and really get the liner down into the lash line. 
and we're gonna smoke that out with shadow after. Next I'm going to apply some liquid liner. I'm gonna come all the way over to the inner corner. So I haven't re-dipped the brush. There's very little product on the brush. And as I pull it upwards, I'm gonna release pressure, pressure and it's gonna make that line really skinny. And then to build it back, I'm not gonna go all the way to the end of the wing. I'm gonna grab it at about right here and pull it back. Now I'm gonna re-dip the brush. And go ahead and fill that in. To shade out the lower lash line, we're gonna use carbon eyeshadow. So after curling my lashes, I'm going to apply some Hot and Naughty mascara. Next I'm going to apply some lashes. I'm using 34 lashes. So now that we're all done with the eyes, I want to go in and contour and highlight the face. First I'm using matte white pigment to highlight the under eyes. Using landscape green pigment, next I'm going to contour the face. I'm using a very light touch because the shadows just really stick to the paint. So I don't want to mess things up, I want to build coverage and color slowly. So next I'm going to paint my shoulders so that I can get in and contour and highlight this area. So I'm gonna contour using the forest green pigment and some carbon eyeshadow. I'm gonna highlight using some of this Reflex Transparent Teal. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the green pigment and I'm gonna put it over this little shadow here. So I'm gonna take some white acrylic paint and I'm gonna add some dots up here to give a more futuristic feel. On the lips, I'm going to start with Vino Lip Liner. I'm gonna take lipstick and put this all over the lips. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip gloss on top. Okay, so now that I'm pretty much all done with my makeup, I'm gonna take this 182 Kabuki brush and paint the rest of my arms. All right, now that I'm fully green, I'm gonna go do my hair and add some finishing touches and we'll be all done. You guys so this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this tutorial check out the other star trek videos make sure you subscribe to mac's channel and while you're at it head over to my channel say what's up and i'll see you guys next time bye